Hello, welcome to my uh, YouTube video on my Sankey trailer camper build. Um, so this is a standard Sankey trailer. It's a Mark II wide track. Um, I bought it uh, about six months ago now. Um, used it to take stuff to the tip and things like that, but um, I thought it was about time that I built myself a little camper as I've worked one for a long time and uh, I thought, what better way to do it than something that's meant to go off-road from day one. Um, it's a good base, a uh, good chassis, everything works on it. So I did toy with the idea of having fixed sides, uh, but I wanted something that was fairly removable. For one, um, if it rots out, for example, the chassis or whatever, I can just go and pick another one up and swap everything over. Uh, there's nothing custom about the actual tub or the chassis itself. Um, so I just wanted to build a frame and then I'm going to use PVC and make it like a cargo trailer um, and then kit out the inside. But I'll, uh, I'll show you what I've got so far, how far I've got and hopefully I'll make a few more videos as I progress. So I'll show you. So here's the actual trailer itself. Like I said, it's all standard. I want a little bit of TLC. Um, but yeah. I'm missing a lens down here, so we need to find one of them. <clears throat> and it does want some rust repairs, as you can see, uh, around the actual arch. This side's perfect. This side's absolutely meant. I don't know quite why it's done it on that side to the extent. You can actually see that it's already had some repairs to it. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'll sort that out. Uh, and there's a few other little holes and stuff, but nothing major. Um, my idea is to kind of get it so I can at least use it this summer and then maybe in future I'll actually look at uh, taking the whole tub off, getting it sandblasted and painted again. Um, but yeah, this side's absolutely mint, so I don't know quite what's happened there, but there you go. So excuse the uh, the state of my garage, we're in a bit of a mess at the moment. But So what these are, these are wall plates. Uh, this is 33mm galvanised scaffold tube. Uh, and they're just tightened up using hexes. These are actually all just bolted down to the, the corner plate to the tub. Um, and then it's put together. And they, these are all uh, interlock clamps or interclamp. Um, there's actually a center bar there as well. Um, so they just slide along the bar. You can choose where you want that. I'm gonna put a slight bend in there. I've got a pipe bender in the corner over there in the mess put a slight bend in that not huge and then join it back over here uh, just so that kind of on the top of the trailer it's got a bit of a v not too much but just to let the rainwater kind of hopefully come down the sides and off the back and front rather than just pulling in the middle i don't want a little swimming pool on the roof um but yeah it's as you can see it's fairly fairly steady it shakes the whole trailer uh so these are just uh, countersunk hex screws, just from Screwfix actually, um, M6. Uh, and then these are all off the metal store online, all the tubes. So far it's cost, well, the framework by itself with the wall plates and any of the connectors I've used um, are, have cost about £140. You can go cheaper, you can get, you know, not galvanized kind of mild steel tube but i wanted something that you know i could leave outside and kind of not worry about it going rusty because uh, it won't spend its life in the garage it will just be a, a kind of short-term thing um but yeah so that's it so far um there's not much else to say but the idea is is that i get i've actually ordered already a pvc tarpaulin so it's actually made out of the same stuff that um, curtain side lorries are made out of um, and I've ordered that <coughs> off uh, off eBay actually so that should be here soon uh, that's 12 foot wide and I think it's 18 foot long so it's enough to go over the sides it'll go all the way around it uh, with some excess hopefully then on the back I'll kind of overlap the pleats around here either stitch them on, glue them on, whatever, with some cement. 
and then put some zips on either side, you know, uh, to make like a little zip up, roll up kind of entry door. Um, but I want to leave the tub fairly standard. I don't want to go over the top of it, but the uh, the plan is to this, this actual, so from here to the front is exactly six foot, um, which will give me a six foot bed, hopefully. Um, a double will bring me over to about here. I think it's 54 inches. Um, so yeah, it will take up a lot of space in here, but maybe a pull out or one that kind of hinges over the top, I'm not sure yet. But I'll design something and build something so that it can just easily be removed. If I want to take it to the tip, as you can see, I you know, <laughs> do use it for a few messy bits. So I want it kind of like an occasional camper. Um, and certainly everything will be removable. But there you go. I hope to make some more videos um, so I can show you guys kind of progress. But I thought I'd give you a little bit of an overview of the framework that I've built so far. And then a few... Um, make a few videos on kind of the repairs that I'm doing as well. So, cheers.